I'm gonna show you how to record a video without going live using Restream Studio. Stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm gonna show you how to record yourself using Restream Studio without going live. And as if you followed this channel before, you've seen that we've used OBS, Streamlabs, OBS, and other software to record ourselves without going live. Well, a lot of people don't know this, and really, quite frankly, I didn't know this at first, that you could actually use Restream Studio to record yourself without hitting that live button. And before I jump right into this and show you how quick and simple and easy it is to do, I'll let you know that this video Video has been sponsored by none other than who else but Restream.io. That's right. If you're looking for a one-stop shop when it comes to streaming to multiple platforms such as your social media presence, whether it be on Twitter, over on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, so on and so forth. And I have to say, really, the biggest bells and whistles that I love about Restream is their integrated chat. It brings all those social media platforms or live streaming platforms onto one chat where you can engage and talk to whoever is watching your live stream regardless of where they're watching from it's a uh, great and it's free to use uh definitely check it out it's livestreamingtech.com forward slash restream or you can click the link in the description so let's go ahead and jump right into this first thing you want to do is step number one open your browser and log into restream.io this will take you into the Restream Studio. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're on the destination page. If you are not on the destination page, go to your upper left-hand corner. It's the first icon uh, at the very bottom, just below the R there. Now, don't freak out. You're gonna sit there and say, well, Walt, wait a minute. You said we could do this without going live. That is correct. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to turn all the destinations to off. You could do this by double clicking off or you can turn them off individually. I like to turn them off individually. A little bit more time consuming, but then it's kind of like, I had a little bit more control. Once we've done that, we have all the destinations turned off. And matter of fact, if you're new to Restream and you just downloaded this, you probably won't have any destinations. So you should be ready to record right from the rip. So next thing we're gonna do, step two, we're gonna go to Enter Live Studio. Now, once again, don't freak out. We're not going live because we have all the live destinations turned to off. That is right. So as you see uh, right now, it's basically saying it's unable to access my Logitech Brio, and that's because OBS is using it, and that's what I'm using to record this video for you right now. But as you see, the circle right there is expanding and contracting. That means it is picking up my audio. So we are ready to rock and roll as far as that's concerned. Now, if you are not using your camera for any other uh, program, it, this should be showing up on there. And once again, you could do live live interviews uh, by not being live. Uh, that's basically inviting the person in uh, using Restream, whatnot. Use it like you would Zoom and you'll see them on the, uh, you'd be on the left, they'd be on the right or vice versa. And you could actually do your interview that way. And that's kind of puts uh, some people at ease that aren't used to doing interviews live as far as a live stream. And you can say, hey, I'm pre-recording this. I can go and cut out what you you know don't approve me to put on air or i can cut out all the ums and ands kind of like i do all the time so that's the thing it's really great for doing that type of content now i got some bonus for you and i know a lot of you are probably gamers or whatnot that are watching this video and if you are here's a really cool thing that you could do as well say uh, my buddy Brian, he likes to play a game called Factorio and he's always making pre-recording these videos and sending them to me, which are basically guides or walkthroughs or just different stuff he does within the game. And he's trying to teach me how to play it. So that way, when I play with him, he's not spending two hours trying to teach me the game. We can jump right into it. And I pretty much have a good concept of what's going on. Or maybe you want to kind of put this content on your uh, Facebook page or share it on your YouTube channel. This would be the way to do it. So the first thing we want to do is as we already have the game pay play pre-recorded so we're going to go there we're going to hit open video i have it saved over here so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open that now we're going to go ahead and toggle that on now i'm going to go ahead and mute him because he's talking over but now say i wanted to go ahead and narrate over the gameplay and uh discuss exactly what i was doing so here's where we start actually recording so whether you're doing an interview say that that the gameplay is somebody else's cam and you're over here or you don't see my camera and you just see my throbbing circle there 
Uh, so what you want to do is you want to hit go live. Once again, don't freak out because we are going to no destinations. It is now saving this onto the cloud. So here's the really cool thing. So say you're like, well, wait a minute. Well, that, that's not how I see uh, gameplay uh, or uh, guides done or whatever. And that's where it's really cool. So what you would do is you would come over to the gameplay over here and you hit spotlight. So boom, that drops me down right there. My camera then would be over there in the bottom right hand corner. You would still hear my voice. You would see the gameplay and then I could actually talk the person through on what I'm actually doing in the game. Or if I was to do the interview style, I would do my interview. Yada, yada. How are you doing tonight game? Oh, the game is doing great. Okay, cool. Thank you. Have a good night. Hit finish. Now our recording is done. Restream saying, are you sure you're finished with the stream? We said, yes. How was our experience? Our experience was great. We're going to go ahead and put awesome. All right. Send feedback. Now, if you had any issues or whatnot, that's when you would want to let them know. Because here's the thing. If we don't let Restream know if they're having any kind of issues, they can't fix it. We can't be mad at them about it. Now, you're probably wondering yourself, Walt, where did our recording go? Over on the upper left hand corner, once again, where we went to dashboard, we're going to come down and it's going to be under recordings. It's a little cloud icon there. We're going to go ahead and click that. And then it saves it. It puts the date and the timestamp. Now you can actually download the audio only. You can download the recording. But me, I just want to look at it. I want to see if it, I did a really good job. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Here is our recording. And as you see, it, it has that we recorded for 45 seconds. And if I really liked it, I would be able to download it and I could take it over to any kind of video editing suite and do a little bit more bells and whistles. Or I could have upload it as I pleased. You know, if you're uh, a lot of people, they, you know, they're not really fancy when it comes to interviews or uh, game walkthroughs or whatever. They just want to get the content out there uh, for their viewers. I bet you you'll like this next video and I think it's down below me over to the right. And don't forget to check out livestreamingtech.com forward slash restream. Check out Restream Studio, it's awesome. I'll see you in this next video.